Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this makeup tutorial for you guys and I am using the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This palette was created by the one and only Gabby TMUA, so she's very popular in Instagram. And she works for BoxyCharm as well. She's always on BoxyCharm's social media like Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat. So yeah, she created her own brand and it's called Alamar Cosmetics and this is her first palette ever and it is Cuban themed. It's Cuban inspired. She is Cuban and I love it. I'm wearing Kale Polish on my nails and I'm wearing Alamar Cosmetics on my eyes. So I've been wanting to actually sit down and film this look for quite a while since I got this palette but I have not had time. Well, yeah, since I got it, I, th I have not had time because when I wanted to film it, I had to work that weekend and then I was away from Miami and this is the first weekend that I'm actually free and that I have time to do it. So I was super excited to finally sit down and film and I have not done that in such a long time to actually just sit and film and talk to you guys and it feels so good like it felt so good to do that like i was just smiling throughout the entire video you will see like i was just like yes this this is what i'm supposed to be doing this feels so right oh and also if you guys are interested i also swatched celia on my nails because i sat down to do my nails before i did my makeup because i had nothing on my nails and they were ridiculous and also these two fingers i was eating hot cheetos when i was watching the mexico soccer game and yeah, they're stained. So if you see my fingers being stained, that those are that's hot Cheetos. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys want to see how to get this look and these nails, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the first layer of Kale Polish Celia, and you want to make sure you apply it as close to your cuticle as possible. This is gonna give you like that professional manicure look. And you also want to make sure that you wrap the tip and wrapping the tip just means to like cover the tip of your fingernail. This is how the first coat of Celia looks on my fingernails. For the second coat I'm going to do the same exact thing. Apply it as the first coat just making sure that you apply it really close to your fingernails and also wrapping the tip. And the second coat I always like doing because it's going to really make the color stand out more and it's just gonna look a lot more shinier than just the, with the first coat. Here you guys have Celia with two coats of polish and a top coat. Hey guys! Oh my goodness! It's been such a long time! It really has. It's been such a long time. So, I bought this headband for the purpose of this video but I don't even know if I'm gonna use it because I don't know how to style headbands. And I wanted to do something really cool with it, but I don't know how to do anything with hair or how to style my hair or how to do... I just don't know how to do anything with hair, so I don't even know if I'm going to use it. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the one and only Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette. So this is going to be the start of the show, and I also did my nails. Um with Celia from K.O. Polish Havana Heat Collection. Me encanta. And I also love the colors inside this palette. They are amazing, they are gorgeous, they are everything. And I don't know if you noticed, but these have a little water drop here next to the name and some of them have a little like sun. It doesn't say it behind the palette itself, but it does say it like on the box. So I was reading everything and on the box it said what the water drop meant and what the sun meant. So what the water drop means is that they are better when used wet and the sun means they are better when used dry. So yeah. So I'm going to start priming and I'm going to be using the Professional Primer. I have not used this in a while. I haven't used any of my makeup in a while. Let's be real. So what have you guys been up to? I feel like I've been gone for so long. So I've just been 
What I've been up to is nothing. I've just been working since I got back. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is in the shade Vanuatu M3.5. That's the shade number. I just messed that up so bad. So for concealer, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige. It really feels so good to just sit down and do my makeup. I love it. I love it. I miss doing this every single week. So now I'm just going to highlight the center of my face, which is going to be right here, this, and on my chin. So I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. To set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in the shade Medium. Okay, I'm going to actually start with the Subculture Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to start with the shade Dawn, which is this shade right here. And I'm just doing this as a transition shade. Wow, this brush, amazing. It's super soft. Wow. So now I'm gonna go into the Alamal Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette and I'm gonna go into Coco Taxi with the same brush. And this is gonna be kinda a second transition shade. I'm gonna basically do the same thing. I'm gonna place it in the outer corner first and then drag it into the crease and just blend it in windshield wiper motions. So now I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of Tropico in a Morphe M513 brush and I'm gonna apply it right here in the outer corner. See that pigment? Amazing. These eyeshadows are blending to perfection. To perfection. Going back into the subculture palette and I'm gonna take edge. I'm gonna use this to blend up here. So back to the Lamar palette, I'm gonna take Guantanamera, this shade right here, and deepen out this outer corner. And I'm just gonna focus this in the outer corner. So I'm taking the brush I applied edge with and I'm just blending the edges out. I'm taking Malecon and applying it right over. Take a little bit of cafecito. Okay, so I'm back and I did my eyeliner, my mascara, and my eyebrows off camera. I just decided to do that all off camera because it's really not 
that important. To contour, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Havana. What a coincidence, huh? Blush, I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades. I've seen so many people using La Costa for highlights, so I want to try that out. Nice. You know what? I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner too. And I'll highlight my brow bone as well. I take a little bit of Ofra Rodeo Dry. And for lip, I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Stars for Lord Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Shook. I'm gonna take Guantanamera and place it really close to my waterline. And I'm just gonna take Tropico and blend it out. So I'm gonna take Coco Taxi, use this to blend out those colors. Not to set my face, I'm going to be using MAC Fix Plus. Hey okay, guys, so this is a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sitting here and filming again. This was like amazing. I just miss doing this. Just sitting down and talking to you guys and filming makeup tutorials for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.